Hey guys, in this episode, we have a very popular question with us that we will solve using bit manipulations. The question is, we have an input array where all the numbers in the array occur twice, except two numbers which occur only once. So we need to find these two unique numbers in the input array. As an example, for this length 8 array, we have numbers 9, 12 and 11 occurring twice here, and the numbers 5 and 6 occur only once. So our outputs are 5 and 6. Ok, if you want to try this question yourself, please pause this video now and start coding. Alright, let's look back into the concepts of XOR which we have learned in the previous episodes of this series. Given an input bit x, x XOR1 is inverted x, x XOR0 is x itself. So given numbers a, b and c, a XOR a is 0. Why? Because 1 XOR1 1 is 0, 0 XOR0 0 is 0. So all bits in A being XOR with itself will result in zeros. Now A XOR B XOR A will be equal to B. How? A XOR A is 0 and 0 XOR any bit is that bit itself. So 0 XOR B will be B itself. Okay, so now going further ahead, what is A XOR B XOR A XOR C? Since A XOR A is 0, so this will result in B XOR C. Great, now let's look into this question. We have 8 numbers here. In this table, we have the binary form of the numbers in the array. All the numbers occur twice except these two numbers 5 and 6. Now what would be the result if we do an XOR of all the numbers in the array? When we do XOR of the numbers which occur twice, say 9 XOR 9, it will result in 0. 12 XOR 12 is 0. 11 XOR 11 is 0. But what is 5 XOR 6? 5 XOR 6 will result in the number 3. Therefore, if we do the XOR of all this, we will have 0 XOR 0 XOR 0 XOR 3 equal to 3, which is 0 0 1 1. Alright, for step 1, we do an XOR of all numbers in the array and store the result. Now, if you noticed, the result here depends on the two numbers x and y, which occur only once in the array, as all the other numbers occurring twice will contribute zeros to the overall XOR result. So we have the result x, XOR y, 0, 1, 0, 1, XOR with 0, 1, 1, 0, equal to 0, 0, 1, 1. Now, we know the result of the XOR of all the numbers in the array, but we do not know the numbers x and y yet, which occur only once in the array. Let's inspect this XOR result value further. If you see the XOR result, here the bits are 1 only in the positions where only one of the once occurring numbers x and y have said bit, right? So if in the output the bit in a position is 1, then only one of x or y has said bit in that position, isn't it? This is a good point of differentiation between x and y, so we will use this concept to figure out x and y. Now from our previous episode, whose link is in the description below, we know how to unset all bits in the number except the rightmost set bit. To unset all the bits except the rightmost set bit in the XOR result, we will do step 2. Rightmost bit of result 1 is equal to result 1 and minus result 1. In our example, we have rightmost set bit in LSB position. Therefore, the output of this operation will be 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay, what about the rest of the numbers in the array which occur twice? Some of them might also have set bit in the LSB position as well. So we have 9 and 11 which also has set bit in the LSB position. But thankfully they occur twice in the array. So what if we do an XOR of only those numbers in the array which has set bit in the LSB position? Then in the XOR we will have 9, XOR 9, XOR 11, XOR 11, XOR 5. And what will be the result of this? We will have 0, XOR 0, XOR 5 equal to 5. So we will have output of this XOR as 5 and we would have found our first unique number x which is 5. So step 3 we do number 1 equal to XOR of all the numbers in the array which satisfy the condition array number ended with rightmost bit of result 1 is not 0. 
Great, now we find out the other number using our previous XOR result. Our previous XOR result was X XOR Y. Now if we do an XOR of this with first unique number X, then we will have X XOR Y XOR X and this will be 0 XOR Y equal to Y and we would find the second unique number Y. So we need to do step 4, number 2 equal to result 1 XOR number 1. This way we found out the two unique numbers in the array. Number 1 will be 5 and number 2 will be 6. Alright, that's it. In the next episode we will be solving another complicated problem and that would be based on two complement concepts. Do subscribe to this channel and hit the like button. See you!